What is up YouTube? I am back and in this video I'm going to be teaching you some different things you can do with soft body objects such as this hair I made here that reacts to physics. So yeah, um, it's just another thing I put together, just some flags. So to start, I'll just open a new blend file and I will add a plane and scale it up and some light. I'll add a sun and some shadow. Okay. So to make some hair, um, first thing you're going to want to do is add a plane and move it up. And you're going to want to model that plane into the shape of some hair. So I'll just scale it up 8 units and scale it down till it's about that thin. So that's like 0.02 or 4, that works. And then I'm going to make some loop cuts on it. So I'll do Control R and move my scroll wheel up. And in the bottom left corner you can see a number, number of cuts, 20. That is probably a pretty good number to start with. Next I will select these two vertices right here. Shift S, cursor to selected. And then set the origin of the object to there. You can do that with Shift Control Alt C and I'll select Origin to 3D Cursor. Next you're going to want to duplicate these strands and you'll want to set this button to Pivot Point 3D Cursor so that way when you duplicate it, it pivots at that point. So I will do Shift D, R, Z and I'll move it like negative 2. And then Shift D, R, Z and I'll move it around 4. And I'll just select all of it, Shift D, R, Z, I'll do negative 6, that looks good. And then select all, Shift D, R, Z, to 12. And you're going to want to repeat this until you get like a big fan of hair, but of course the more hairs you get, um, slower the game will run. And I might delete some off the end. Actually, that was more than I needed. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll just delete these extra ones. Alright, that's good enough. Doesn't really have to be that much. Okay, so then I'll go to materials and I'll add a new material. I'll make it the color of hair. Something like that. And then I'll select the hair again, edit mode. And I will need to join these vertices right here at the end. So I'll select them and do Alt M and merge at center. Next I'll have to make the hair a soft body. So I'll go over to the physics and I will set it to soft body. And you're going to want to play around with these settings because it's kind of hard to find the exact thing you want on the first try. So turn off shape, ma uh, shape match and leave these off. Position iterations, I'll set that to 10. Um, linear stiffness, I'll set that to 0 0.2. And mass, I'll set that all the way down. <clears throat> Next, you'll want to move the hair, I don't know, just that way somewhere. Doesn't really matter. And then, with the hair still selected, I'll do Shift S cursor to selected. Next I'll need to add an empty. So shift A, empty plane axis, and set the uh, empty to a static physics type and enable
collision bounds. I don't know why you have to do that, but you just have to with soft bodies if the thing isn't empty. Then select the hair and go over to the constraints tab and add a constraint, add rigid body joint, make the target the empty, and you can turn these two on. And if you'll play the game, and I should turn off back face calling. Okay, so if you play the game, you'll notice how the hair reacts to physics, just like that. And you can always add more loop cuts or subdivide it, and always mess with these settings to get your desired result. Soft bodies aren't just good for creating hair, they can be used for creating a variety of things like flags or tablecloths. And so I'll show you how to make a flag with soft bodies. So I'll add a plane. I will subdivide it a few times. And I'll just scale it up on the y-axis and apply the scale. And rotate it 90 degrees like that. I'll give it a new material and turn off back face calling. All right. So now I will need two of these right here. Move one down. <coughs> Sorry. And so now let's set this to a soft body. Okay. And constraints, rigid body, target. First target is this one. And turn on these two and you're going to want to set the pivot point. So I'll just move this to where the corner of the mesh is. Doesn't have to be exact. But I recommend it should be like somewhere within the outer boundary of the mesh. And for the second one, do the same thing. Set it to the other empty. <coughs> Excuse me. And move this one down and that over. I also need to uh, change the light here because it's a little dark. And add some environment lighting. Okay, so if I play the game kind of acts like flag, it's a little stiff though. So what you can do is change the stiffness. Don't put it all the way down though, because it gets weird. That's something close to a flag. You can always change these settings. <laughs> well, that looks pretty good actually. So yeah, that's how you create a flag, and um, yeah, now it doesn't always have to be connected to these empties right here. Like it can just free fall. So if I turn off these joints, you can just let it free fall onto the ground. If I turn some of these settings back on, it might look better. Yeah, it looks like a piece of paper now. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, they're pretty much no limitations on what you can do with soft bodies other than like different motions you can apply to them that's kind of annoying you can only apply um, location rotation and linear velocity as far as I know to soft body objects which it's kind of annoying if your player is a soft body but um, other than that they provide great scene assets and like if you're making a medieval scene you can have like a clothesline between two buildings and flags, soft body flags hanging on them. 
So yeah, they provide awesome props for different scenes in the Blender game engine. And just provide cool effects in general. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having a cough. Had a cold recently. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. And see you later.